Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, today, of course, guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your browser is being managed by your organization fix for Firefox on Google Chrome. So if you have in this issue for either Firefox or Google Chrome, um, just before this video began, I showed you what the error looks like. Now, of course, just a quick check. If you're having the issue on Firefox, go ahead and also go to settings within Chrome. You might have the issue as well. In most cases, you might have both or even multiple. And of course, this error can happen with any browser. This includes Firefox, Google Chrome. Now, um, all of those um, third-party browsers tend to get this issue. Now, if your device is from an organization, such as a work device, this might not be an error. And of course, maybe a feature that's been used by your business. However, if it's a personal laptop and the issue may be caused by either a bug caused by a piece of software or something else, which is an error, or it might be caused by some malicious piece of software. Now, if you have this issue and you want to get rid of it, you'll have to edit the registry of your PC. So just follow along as I show you how to, in general, how to fix the issue. Now, it's already fixed on this laptop. I'm just going to show you where to go and what to look out for. You're going to delete two key pieces of um, files within the registry. So just follow along. All right. So the first thing you want to do, guys, is go ahead and go to the search bar. I'm using Windows 10. You're going to search for um, run. Now run, you'll see this window here, go ahead and click. All right, now once run comes up like this, the um, run box, go ahead and type in regedit, that's R-E-G-E-D-I-T, as seen here. And of course, sorry, type for me, you can just type it out, so that's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Once you do that, go ahead and hit OK. And once you hit OK, guys, just wait until the registry um, comes up. And of course, the registry is very sensitive. So if you do not know what you're doing, make sure that you back up the registry before editing it. And of course, if any prompts come up, just go ahead and say yes. Do you want to allow um, changes to be made? Hit yes. In here, you should see it looking much like this. Now, let's go ahead, guys. Once you're in here, the first thing you need to do is a backup. Go to File. And of course, once you go to file, go ahead and um, export. Now, once you export and save, it will do a backup of the current state of the registry. Later on, if you want to restore, in case you mess up, you can always re-import um, that file. I will not want to do it right now, so I'm just showing you where to go. All right, guys. Now, for every device, um, you'll just browse to this section here. Now, look over here to the side. You'll notice that there is a drop-down arrow beside each folder. And each folder has a subfolder. So each time we're going to click on this drop down and we're going to go into some subfolders. So the first thing I want to do, guys, go to H key local. So that's H key local machine. So you're going to click right beside it for the drop after H. After you have clicked on the drop down for H key local machine, you'll notice here are several folders. Next, you're going to go ahead, guys, and you're going to go second to the software folder so the software folder make sure you're on the software so let's go ahead and hit the software folder all right so make sure you're in the software folder and as you can see here this is the software folder you'll notice a lot of um, applications that's on um, my pc next after the software folder you're gonna go to policies now um, the policies folder is key here so let's go ahead and find the policies folder and once you're here just find the policies folder here and once you're on policies, you should see the policies relating to any software that was created on your um, computer. Now, notice right here, in my case, I've already fixed the problem. And of course, in your case, you should be seeing something different. Now, here's what to look out for. If you're having the issue on if you're having the issue on Firefox, go ahead and look for a folder named Mozilla. I'll try to write it on screen here, Mozilla. And of course, if you see a Mozilla folder, go ahead, guys, and select the Mozilla folder. If you're seeing it, right click and hit delete. So um, let's pretend it's this folder here, which is not. You're going to right click and you're going to hit delete. But remember, it's not for Adobe or Microsoft. You want to look out for the Mozilla folder. You're going to delete that folder. And once you delete that folder, 
Next, if you're having the issue with the other browser in question, which is um, Chrome, um, for Chrome, it's the same thing. Right in this folder in policies, go out and look for a folder called Google. So if you see a folder named Google, go ahead and right click on Google and delete. Now, once you have deleted those folders, you have basically finished the process. Now, the next thing to do, guys, after this, um, is going to be um, in case you have a third browser let's say for example opera you need to look for opera or the whatever um, the companies that makes opera and it will appear in a folder here so um, depending on your browser the folder will be different so once you're here just go ahead and delete um, if it's a some other browser that you're seeing um, seeing it in and once you get rid of those folders guys um, the next thing to do is just go ahead and simply close this out. So I'm not going to close it. I'm just going to minimize. So just go ahead and close. And in case of the browser Firefox, go ahead and close out Firefox or Chrome. Close out Chrome. And once you do that, guys, next thing you're going to do after this is simply go ahead and relaunch um, Firefox or Chrome and afresh. And then you're going to go to settings and you should notice that the error that was there before saying that your device is being managed by the organization, it'll be gone. All right, so that's basically how to do it on your um, Windows PC. If you have any questions, you can ask them below. This regard the gardeners, you jump on blog tech tips, saying bye until next time. Bye, guys, and thank you for tuning in, and I hope you found this tutorial very useful. Bye, guys.